In this video I will show you what you should have in your home in case of a natural disaster, emergency or an earthquake. Supplies, mostly food and water really. And uh, food should be dry, long shelf. Also, check the walls. Sounds more full. Really packed. The solid part is here, up to here, and then it's empty, and then full. So here is the the strong part of this wall. This also sounds really full. So I have here one arcade and here it's a bit weaker. Doesn't sound as good as the other side. You want it to sound like you're hitting a rock, not a watermelon or an empty box. So we have this area here, these arcades here, they're really great. Sounds really full. At the entrance door here, it's really full. Really full here. So all this area, it's really strong. There are no bricks, mostly in that area. So this square here is where we would stay in case of an earthquake, a natural disaster. Hopefully we don't have to do that. But also we have a plan if it happens that uh, we are not together, we are, someone is away, we have a place where we meet inside or outside. It's important to have a point where to meet in case the phones don't work. And I have a bug. This bug is to, case, to have inside in case we are stuck inside for some reason. And also to take away outside in case uh, we have to go somewhere. Some small plastic bags, mostly food, dry food, these thermal blankets. The gold goes outside to keep you warm and the silver goes outside to keep, you, keep the heat away from the sun. Uh, two, two blankets here, it's for two people. And uh, these are just rescue blankets. And this bag is ready to go, really it's going to sit next to the fridge in case we have to go away somewhere and uh, yeah, a lighter. <laughs> but this is a special lighter, it's a windproof lighter, so look at it. It's also refillable, I refilled it, it's full. So I can keep it there in the bag, just in case for any need. And also miniature pliers for camping. These are great for really opening things and it, they also have a cutting, cutting part for the pliers and a lot of uh, extra tools to use, even a small knife here. It has a lot of options. Yeah. Small pliers is always good to have in a bag or even in your pocket. And now the knife, my unboxing knife, I decided to put it in the rescue bag. Bug out bag, get out bag. This is a simple pocket knife. It's very handy, very useful. And uh, yeah. The, all these things are there in case we have to go outside somewhere. Also, a li really tiny miniature playing cards. These are optional things, the cards, but they could uh, help to relieve boredom. And yeah, this is uh, there are a few pockets here in the bag, but I don't use all the pockets. I try to keep the the things inside. The most important thing to have is really water. You need at least two liters of water per person for a few days, two, three days. And 
these things are really optional but they might help you a lot in some situations these are post-it notes just simple paper i have a pen and if you have a pen you would want to have some kind of paper to write on if you need to all these things i keep them in resealable plastic bags the plastic bags can be used for other things also here i have a usb c cable usb type a to usb c to charge the phones and here i have a bit of a safety emergency kit a rubber band elastic band actually to use in case of a bleeding this could be tied to an arm or a leg in case of heavy bleeding and uh, to temporarily stop the bleeding in case you do use it like that sometimes you have to let go to let the blood flow a bit also a pen with a nylon th strong nylon thread and needles these needles could be used to sew anything from a wound to anything a material that might you might need to sew and then the pen is really useful to write with some rope just a simple plastic nylon rope and also this is for a grass cutter that nylon uh, piece of wire it might be useful to even burn in case to make smoke if it helps or to set up some loops here and there <laughs> also i have a small candle and a lighter big lighter tiny lighter this is a second lighter it's good to have more than one way to make a fire if you need to the candle might be really useful to keep warm in a small space and also to have light for a for half hour one hour here i have one pen that is actually just the f this uh, refill of the pen two pieces of uh, string this is pretty strong string and carabiners maximum 50 kilos because it don't not really need so much weight and safety pins electrical tape and scotch tape to tie anything together really, really quickly disinfectant iodine tincture you can use anything really hydrogen peroxide alcohol anything you like the food here i use mostly one bag of mostly it's high in uh, rich in calories that's important and dry also long shelf toilet paper and a big roll of scotch tape most important thing to have in your bag is water you need to have water three three liters here two two bottles of water you should have at least one bottle of water but two bottles three liters is really the minimum and this is in case of going outside and the way everything is arranged next to the fridge there is food in the fridge there is there are also dry canes and dry nuts and fruits next to the fridge first aid kit basic first aid kit for uh, camping and uh, hiking a lot of bandages and scissors also for, for cover anything needed it's not opened but it's expired i put it there better expired first aid kit than no first aid kit you should have one that is not expired ideally a power bank to charge phones charge our phones and also you could have a light module for USB. I have a soap, just a simple soap. And that's pretty much all there is in the bag. So I'm putting them back now. The items, you can really arrange them however you like. Most of these things are not really so important. But there are the must-have things, which are the water in the order of importance. Water, food, first aid kit, the power bank, and the charging cable for your phone. The other thing is these ropes and lighters. They are really optional. Most important, if, if it, there is an earthquake, 
and you're stuck inside and you can't go outside, you need to be able to survive at least three, two, three days. And that will water will keep you going. And also the blankets, if it's cold, you might need to use the blankets. But if you're at home, you most likely have blankets already. These are just in case when you're outside. The blankets are not really expensive, so it's and also not heavy, so I decided to put them. Knife is useful for outside, for inside, not much. Uh, it's, uh, it's always good to have this one bag sitting somewhere by the door and if it happens that you have to go you have your documents on the phone all your uh, documents you should have them scanned and saved in a cloud service like google drive or uh, azure or uh, actually office 365 google drive and anything dropbox really anything anywhere you can save these files so your documents scanned and uploaded to the cloud. Here, these ones I put them separate the soap and the tapes because I didn't want the bug to smell. The soap smells a bit strong, and the tapes can also smell. Yeah. Also, the ID texture I put somewhere in the pocket here. It's not really important where you put them. The most important is that they're all together in one place. All saved on the phone. I can even use the phone as a flashlight only with the screen or to use the actual light from the phone it has a flashlight mode but it's pretty useful you always have your phone with you and the wallet also and if it happens that you have to go you will have your shoes somewhere by the door and you can quickly go i mean if this is the idea <laughs> this is what you have to do you can also add a pair of socks one t-shirt one pair of underwear but it's not really necessary these things you can uh, add them later if you wanted to i keep this bag here by the water next to the point where we will stay in case of an emergency in case of an earthquake and if we're not at home we will we have a place where to meet